This is Stacy. This is Stacy's Pot House. This is my house. It's where I'm going to be making some pots. That over there is Earl, my dog. So here's the second little vase that I made the other day, and I'm so nervous now about trimming this sucker. I just don't even want to do it. But how are you going to learn if you don't screw up, right? The nature of the beast. So for starters, let's see just how unlevel it is. Actually, it's not too bad. It needs a little something something over here. And now that's it. That's level. So the trick is figuring out how to center it. This is so different than trying to center a pot or a bowl. Shoot. You guys know what I did, right? Oh, look at that. That's going to be very close. I forgot to measure the bottom. Forgot to measure the bottom. Oh, yes, I did. What happens when you get in a hurry? You forget little steps. So now I don't know how much I have to trim off the bottom. But I love this thing, so if I kill it, I'm going to be very sad, but I would have learned a valuable lesson. Okay. Put that on there good. Okay. May the force be with me. Ooh, so nerve wracking. So doing vases doesn't have nearly it's much trickier. Then bowls and cups. Oh, and I've just gotten it completely off. Ah! So scary. Must ask the instructor. What do you do? Do I come higher up the neck with this clay? I just don't know. I know this much. I'm not going to mess with it much. Lest it goes down in my... in the blog as one of my failures. Okay. So see, clearly this isn't centered well. Oh. I'm pretty sure that Danielle the Clay Lady will not be the most proud of this foot. The pull, however, Ivy. I'm just so scared. I'm gonna kill this thing. Ah! 
that makes me this nervous. Slow it down. I'm so scared I'm gonna kill this thing. Using my big wide tool here. Oh, that's thin. Yeah, I'm leaving that alone. Oh, I think it's even not going to hold water. Pretty sure it's already cracked. It's really thin. Tell you. I think I am going to get out my little Play-Doh machine and maybe create a false bottom and some and a feet for this because I just feel like I'm going to regret it if I don't. So my first step in the try to salvage it thing is going to be Create a bottom. So I'm gonna roll this out and then I'm going to set my pot on top of that. I'm gonna use my pin tool. Drag it all the way around. Okay. Then I'm going to take this and just kind of attach it on. Make sure it's all nice and Seamless. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I like this face so much, I'm going to give it a try. I feel like I owe it to the piece to not just give up because I know the bottom's going to crack and it doesn't have a foot. So what, right? As long as it holds Gerber daisies. That's all I care about. All right. And then what I'm going to do is just Create my clay glue. Soften the rim of this just a little bit because it's pretty stiff. I 
And that is all I'm doing to that until I take it and do some stuff with the crazy. Oh, wow,